Hello and welcome to No Small Roles, a Dungeons and Dragons podcast where there are no small roles and actually today no Dungeons or Dragons. <gasps> what? <laughs> We're not playing Dungeons and Dragons. We're actually playing a one-page RPG published by Darrington Press, created by Marisha Ray and designed by Grant Howitt called A Familiar Problem. And all of our wonderful players are going to be playing little magical companions. Yeah. So uh, I have with me Mr. Daryl Bailey. Hello. I have Mr. Ben Galpin. Hello. Mr. Chris Watts. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and Mr. Baby David Knight. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever called any of you Mr. Mr. Like uh, yeah. yeah, it's fine. It even feels very formal, doesn't it? Felt it felt very Reservoir Dogs. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be Mr. Pink. I want to be Mr. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit in a restaurant and discuss the rate of pay for waitresses. <laughs> yeah, man. And for any kids listening, Reservoir Dogs is a fun cartoon. <laughs> yes. It's a fun, fun film dogs. you can watch with your parents. Yes. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't, don't watch, watch that film. Please, kids. <laughs> That's a joke. Listeners, um, if you haven't listened to our how, little How to Play segment, we are attempting to keep these uh, two episodes nice and clean. So if you do have any young humans in your life that you think might enjoy listening to No Small Roles, these are the episodes that will be best to do that if you want to avoid any naughty words. <laughs> We're on our best behaviour, aren't we, gang? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. There's no Vicky here anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's Vicky that's the bad influence. It's not me at all. She's constantly swearing like a sailor, Vicky. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, are we ready to get a bit more familiar? Oh, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think these are going to be child friendly. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. There might be some heavy edits involved. <laughs> Roll the theme tune. Our story begins with Rowana, a familiar and friend of a sprightly 200-year-old gnome sorcerer named Juna Septhorn. Both Juna and Rowana are part of an interesting assortment of adventurers that call themselves the Fate Marked Five, or the Abracalads, no. depending yes. on the occasion. <laughs> yes. The Fate Marked Five have found themselves in a spot of bother. After purchasing some new items from a travelling salesman named Wester Merriman, the gang have awoken to a robbery. The culprit? A vulpertinger named Turnip. Or Russell, depending on the occasion. <laughs> Gaius the Masked Bard, you may have heard of him, purchased this small fey creature from the salesman as a gift for Juna. Hamster-like in appearance, with little buzzing wings and deer-like antlers, Juna was thrilled and enchanted. However, Rowana was suspicious from the off, mm -hmm. and she was right to be. Russell put their magical hamster cheeks to good use and robbed all the items bought from Wester, plus some exciting magical items from their artificer, Orin Quill. Though the party's monk Gwendolyn Rose was ready to kick some bottom and the warlock <laughs> fighter Enkidu had turned the cart around, the team decided that on second thoughts their business in Falos Vale was possibly a little bit more pressing. There are four spoons. Yep. There were four whole spoons. <laughs> and the fate of the world besides. <laughs> As a compromise, Juna changed Rowana into a hawk and sent her in hot pursuit of the vulpa tinger named Russell. And that's where we pick it up. So, David, you are taking on the role of Rowana for this adventure. That I am. She has been turned into a hawk. Vicky did not give us a description of how this particular hawk looked like. Would you like to tell us? Ooh, yeah, I'm thinking like a hen harrier hawk, mm. which are kind of like mottled brown. Um, they've almost got like owl-like faces. Ooh. He says, looking at the pictures, <laughs> um, but with like bands of like white and brown along their wings. They look very cool. 
They are beautiful. I'm just looking it up now. Mm-hmm. Wow. And we will put some pictures somewhere. <laughs> or you can Google. Hen Harrier Hawk. That's, that's the vibe I'm going with, yeah. So that is the image that the Abracalad see as she soars off down in a south westerly direction hopefully she's hoping in the right direction of russell now she's using her connection to the fey being a fey creature herself Mm -hmm. of sorts uh, to kind of help her track down russell she's been flying for 24 hours and absolutely exhausted obviously has a little break you know (laughs) catch a mouse or two Catch a mouse or two, little snack. Mouse burger. Keep things Lovely. interesting. Um, but yeah, 24 hours have passed. It is the morning. And um, she's approaching what seems to be a small village. Uh, this is where the track and the feeling of the face starts to get a little bit muddied. There are other Ooh. presences around and it's harder to actually see what's going on so you, you've basically got kind of a road ahead of you there's forest either side and you can see the village in the distance mm. now you think you can sense some fey presence coming from a ditch uh, by the side of the road and you think you can hear a voice Ben what's that noise is that voice making uh, so there is a voice coming from the ditch um, going help help what on earth has happened? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And there is a creature in the ditch. Ruwana, would you like to get closer? Uh, Yeah, if there's a a tree fairly nearby. I don't want to get so close, but I kind of want to like sit above the ditch a little bit and look in to get a better view of exactly what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. And Ben, would you like to roll on the species chart yeah. to find out exactly what Ruwana sees? Okay, here we go. <laughs> you see a lizard. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, in the ditch. Um, oh, what sort of lizard shall we have? Gecko. Yeah. Yeah, sure. There's a fairly substantially sized gecko, larger than other big geckos. <laughs> Like and <laughs> Google's geckos. It is um Pascal in Tangled again. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. That's adorable. Be it Pascal. Let me just Google Pascal. I think he's a chameleon. Is he a chameleon? Oh, is he a chameleon? Oh, oh. That's a type of lizard. He's a chameleon. Can I be a chameleon? Yes, I will allow it. <gasps> I will be a chameleon, please. <laughs> 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 And have you uh, gotten a handle on how to camouflage yourself no. yet? No. no. Okay, so, so absolutely no idea. Rowana Ru- can still see you. Oh yeah, there <laughs> is there is a, a brightly coloured chameleon in a ditch <laughs> uh, that is like flashing multiple different colours. None of them match s- space that this this chameleon has found himself in at all. Help! What on earth is going on? Oh, goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no, this won't do at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, help! Is there anything around this chameleon at all? Or is it just a chameleon in a ditch? It's a chameleon in a ditch. Um, I'd say uh, if you want to get a little closer and roll... Can you roll a... um? A clever check for me. Ooh, clever. I get plus plus nothing Mm. to clever, so it's going to be a straight (laughs) roll. Um, But yeah, I'll hop down a little bit and get a closer closer look. Oh, I rolled a nine. Okay, very nice. out of ten. So if anyone's going, nine isn't very high. It's a a d10. (laughs) Yes, yeah, we're rolling with d10s. Okay, so you've got a nine. Very nice. So as you kind of creep a little bit closer, you notice that the um, near where this ever-changing chameleon is, there are some cart marks. 
seems like a cart has stayed in this area for a little time. There are some footprints. Um, there are some bits of kind of glitter, little bits of thread. Uh, kind of, yeah, that seems like something was occurring here. Some hustle and bustle. Hmm. Um, I'm going to hop down off of, uh, off of the branches of the tree right onto the side of the ditch. So there's still a little bit of a distance between me and this chameleon, but I'll just sort of sit there and stare at it for a moment, <laughs> see how it reacts. <laughs> I think the chameleon <laughs> seeing a hen harrier hawk uh, sitting nearby starts desperately flapping his, his chameleon arms uh, and <laughs> jumping like he's trying to take off. Um, yeah. No, 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 come on, come on, go. No, if I, no, what? No lift. Oh, help. Oh, oh no. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is, uh, is everything okay? No, everything's not all right. Who are you? What, what, you, you, leave me alone. Just, uh, you're not acting much like a chameleon. What? Is that what I am? What? Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh, look at this tail! Oh, no, oh, no, 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 where are the wings? Hang on, ah, wings, wings. And and he starts going around in circles looking for his wings. Um. <laughs> hey, uh, it's it's just, uh, take, a, take a deep breath, it's okay, just uh, deep breaths. We've all been there, changed forms many times. Uh, it, it takes a, a, a short moment to get used to each time, so. What? You've changed what? Before? Oh yeah, I mean, like I used to be an elf, so uh, here we you, are. What? You, you, you used to be an elf. What? 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 What happened to you? Did you get caught in a flash? You, you could say that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Now, this conversation has been as 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 a. Uh, Ben's character has been trying to flap as strong as they can. This uh, Harrier Hawk kind of curiously looking into the ditch it's 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 a bit of a commotion and it has caught the eye of two other creatures um coming from the village uh soaring in the sky you see well daryl what do you see you see a great horned owl um this variation of great owl is more akin you can call it like a uh, a tiger owl it's got reddish brown coloring around its eyes and framing that is a like a black outline um its ears are colored the same way and the rest of its body is a mixture of um dark brown and reddish brown eyes and it has um it has a monocle <laughs> over oh, his oh. left eye <laughs> and a mortarboard on its head <laughs> and a small black cloak <laughs> around its neck <laughs> as, it, as it circles the area <laughs> oh it ever seems quite lively down there oh it's quite uncommon to see so many speaking animals drawn together in one place hello there hello <laughs> Uh, hi. As we've seen you kind of start to say hello, there is another creature coming by foot who has been following you. Uh, curious a, a bit about what's been going on, um, where you've just come from. And Chris, would you like to describe your character? Um, I think I'll describe how they sound before they how they uh, look. So mm -hmm. as you've been flying, Daryl, you've just been hearing every now and then a little bit of like a... Almost like an animal trying to mimic bird song, um, <laughs> as is the one with cats. Um, but then um, has you know beaded and, and, and weaved its way through the long grass until eventually, sort of stumbling upon this scene, you see um, a black cat with bright green eyes, um, flicking tail, and uh, a demeanour of of authority and and oozing charisma. Ooh. A cat that you want to go and pet straight away if oh, you're a yeah. human. I, I definitely do not want to pet the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yes, and the problem is the cat immediately has like taken like stock of the scene and is now looking at the gecko 
and it's just Chameleon. opening its mouth just a little <laughs> bit. Oh no. No, no. And as as that mouth slowly starts to open, that's where you can hear this uh, calling from above from the owl. Um, with with the this owl above, a sudden cat approaching. Um, I'm very much gonna swoop over to the chameleon and just grab it in one talon. Is that what this feels like? Oh no! I just say, hey, I really don't want to alarm you, but there's a lot of things here that could eat you right now. So uh, if you just want to jump on my back or crawl up my arm or something then okay. we can get flying okay just 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 in just before we decide whether or not we're surrounded by friends okay okay as he does that can i make a pounce for the gecko for, for the oh. chameleon oh. <laughs> uh yes you can uh, ah. roll a fierce check for me chris um and ben can you please uh just roll a straight d10 for me straight d10 yeah mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I rolled a two. Ten. Ten. Natural okay. ten. <laughs> okay. Natural so, ten, uh, yeah. A natural ten. De- ben, you do not take a stress point. Yes. At this point. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, the very pettable looking black cat takes a dive and tumbles into the ditch and is 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 sprawled in a slightly ungainly um fashion yeah brushing off the dust or gaining it my friend <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fiends that was mine to have <laughs> that lizard is no, no. mine, and I want it back. <laughs> I'm scurrying up Ruana's back. Okay, okay, everybody, we just need to calm down a little bit. Let's just take a step back. Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, okay, what's what's happening? You all can talk? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is Pawsome. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, what is the, <laughs> do animals normally talk? What is the, what is the, <laughs> What is the world we live in where, like, us as animals, are we, is this, like, oh really my unusual? Gosh. <laughs> I think for animals to be able to talk to different species, uh, perhaps. Yeah. But, uh, you're all familiars. You don't necessarily meet as many familiars. I'd say, familiars. Ben, you, within your adventuring troop, um, your animal probably has spoken to, for example, rats quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, mm. yeah. And I, I'd say that... that uh, Daryl's character will have met plenty of other familiars mm. that uh, cool. he would that would know. But yeah, I think... But it's unusual to find a whole load of... Yeah, a whole yeah. bunch of familiars without their adventurers. Yeah. Um, mm. And also, I'd say definitely for uh, Chris's character, a bit more sheltered. So maybe doesn't meet as many talking animals as much. <laughs> <laughs> How came you all by this place? I I pr- I presumed that I was just chasing a quarry, but clearly I've been uh, greeted by a, a, a number of my fellow species of of familiars and companions of of magical beings. Good day. Who? What be your names? Yes, I'm very powerful and important, and you definitely can't eat me. My good friend, I apologise profusely. I thought you were just a morsel that I was going to devour, but that's absolutely fine. What's your name? Uh, my name is. Richard. Ah, Richard. Richard. Oh, you sound delicious. It's so sad. <laughs> but yes, uh, my friend, you with the wings. Yes, yes, you up there who's who's laughing away. The, the, the owl? What's your name? Oh, greetings and good day. My name is Clarence. Ah, a marvellous name. And and I, I presume you do not know the other bird creature just there, the hawk? Uh, who be you be? Good Sir or lady, gender I cannot determine, for I am merely a cat. Uh, hi, I'm Ruana. I'm Ruana. Uh, she, her pronouns. Um, I just came upon this chameleon here uh, who was acting very strange and talking, so that's... Um, have any of you seen a uh, a big uh a, a, like a cart go by? Uh, I'm looking for um somebody called Western Merriman. Oh, have we? I I believe I have. Oh, oh, you have. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, there was uh, a wagon. Um, and around the wagon was a, a small crowd, and um, 
there was a a a a, 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 a big person. Um. Okay. Very brightly dressed. Uh, this uh, dressed like this, and Richard attempts to turn himself into the colour of the person he saw, and probably completely fails. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Turns a bright pink. <laughs> like, no, not like no. Ah, ah, yeah, ah. I'm not looking for a pink person. Um, more of like a, a greenish. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that was good. the color. I think Grace. Okay, I'm then maybe that's who I saw. Yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe they're near nearby. Okay. okay. Um, yes, Daryl and Chris. Uh, in the little bit of information I sent you, uh, on your way out of the town. You both saw a carriage coming in that fit is fitting this description. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, ah, oh, memory seems to come slowly in my dotage. I seem to remember a carriage with a rider, uh, an elf fellow with a uh, a big uh, feather hat of some sort. Is that what you are looking for, my hawkish friend? Yeah, yeah, that's uh I think so. Um they've uh they they've stolen some things from uh from some friends of mine, so I was just sent to uh find them, uh, possibly they... retrieve it, but uh but mostly just location. What have they stolen? To be honest, I didn't keep a, a complete list, but lots of things. Uh, a duck? No? Uh, okay. A... No, didn't steal a duck. Right. They stole some things from you, you say. Yeah, that's right. And of your friend's human companions, and you, as uh, familiar as you are, are expected to retrieve them back single wingedly, I uh, presume. <laughs> yeah, kind of more, more, more like, uh, yeah, yeah, just like recon. Uh, I, I, there's a, there was a lot of stuff stolen, so I'm not sure I'd, I'd be able Scout to mission. get it back exactly. Like, <laughs> um, but, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some humans. Um, I'm particularly attached to a, a, a gnomish lady. Uh, hmm. Myself, my friend. I saw the 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 wagon entering the the, the village uh, from which I am a resident, um, a proud and and famous resident. And I, I I must say, it's bustling with business there. If you're if you're wishing to seek this wagon, I may help you to procure this wagon. Oh. And perhaps if you wish to to steal back. The things that you are looking for. Ah, I, I, I greatly appreciate the help. Yeah. My one request is that you have food. Do you have food? Preferably of the of the fish. Richard, persuasion. Richard really kind of like <laughs> digs in on the back of Rohana. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, how? Uh, mind the feathers. Um, uh, no, right. not food on me. But we can we can try to find some if that's what you want. Food. Between uh, our hawkish friend and my keen eyes, I'm sure we can procure some amenable prey on the way to where you can assist our feathered friend. Yeah, we'll go for a little hunt. Hmm. Excellent! I think hunting in the pack is always more successful. It is. And I think the chance of, of working with three other familiars is, is, is phenomenal. And I, I can't wait. Yeah, this is strange, right? It's one for the history books or for the adventure. <laughs> okay, so um, well, it's 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 lovely to meet you all. So, uh, hmm. which way do we go? Um, did did I see which way the the carriage went? You saw it heading into the village. Oh, okay, cool. So both um, have you all said your names yet? Has have we asked it's the cat? The cat's the cat their name, not. yeah. I'm not sure we have. What do we, what do we call you as we're... Yeah. Yes, my friend. What is your name? Other than dangerous. I am called Chester Eagleton. And it is a pleasure Chester to meet... Chester Eagleton? I Eagleton. Eagleton. <laughs> Eagleton. It is a proud family name that should not be shamed, unlike some people who I know. Um, oh. I have other nicknames of a more demeaning manner, but I shall not partake <laughs> in sharing them with you today. But I am the proud owner of the name Chester Eagleton. Eagleton. Well, it's Eagleton. lovely to meet you, Eagleton. Chester. Pleasure. Hmm. Yes. Nice to meet you at a distance. So, 
both Chester Eagleton and Clarence will have a idea that there's a bit of a something going on in the centre of the village on the village green. And, um, and as you've been on the side of the road in this kind of ditch area, you have noticed uh, several kind of carts go past, some with rowdy merrymakers, some with lots of baked goods, uh, and in fact, um, a rather enticing looking uh, fish cart. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, probably bringing in a shipment from uh, Lake Ira. As you are in, uh, just uh, for our listeners to give you an idea, we're kind of on the border of Twain Tide, a little bit uh, further na- north from um, Vernock Rise. So, uh, yeah, this little village has a lot going on, it seems, today. Lots of preparations are happening. So um, you can make the logical leap that perhaps the wagon has gone to join in with these festivities. There's a chance we could spot your wagon in amongst the the lively activity happening to the in the town. I say we should head in this direction and maybe spot a nice open fish to swoop in on for dinner. Yes. That sounds ideal. Excellent. Clarence takes the disguise. Wonderful. So, as uh, those of those that can fly, um, Richard how flaps we- his arms. Yes. <laughs> are you, are you, is anybody giving um, our young Richard a lift, or is Richard? Are you going by foot? If oh, and Eagle as well. Sorry, I forgot you weren't flying. Chester, so, yeah. please. <laughs> Chester, sorry. <laughs> yes. How how are you uh, transporting yourselves? I mean, I'm happy to give uh, give Richard a lift if he's still up on my back. If Ruana will give me a lift, Richard will will take the lift, mm. and then we'll backseat fly the whole journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Clarice will fly lower to the ground to keep um, Chester company. Lovely. So yeah, as you start to get closer to the village, you can really start to feel the hubbub of stuff going on. It's it's a big event. It's a personal event. It's it, there is bunting all around the place. It's uh, of kind of sunset colours. So you've got reds, oranges, yellows. People are putting up flower garlands all over the place. People are running around halfway through getting their hair ready. You see people going places with dresses. It's 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 a big event. Um, and the closer you're getting, the more danger there is to you as creatures especially um to uh chester who is on the ground of course you are a cat and you're very lithe um and usually able to you know get in and out of people but this is usually a very sleepy village and a lot more relaxed whereas there are a lot more carts a lot more going on so can i get a can I get a quick check from you just to check that you're not getting trampled? As Ruan is flying around the bunting, Richard's just going, Mind the bunting! Oh, you have to go below that! Come on! Yeah, I can fly, thank you. That's a seven. A seven. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, you, you, you manage to avoid getting trampled by any of the fast feet going around. Um, now, uh, those who are flying ahead, you can see that everything seems to be culminating on the village green. Um, would you like to go in and take a closer look? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is there anything in particular you're looking for? Um, Clarence is trying to see if he can um, differentiate between the carts and if he can see the, the fellow with a very distinct hat. Mm. Um, roll a clever roll mm. for me. And Ruana is going to sort of do a much higher, like swoop over the whole thing, just to see, yeah, if she recognises any of the any of the wagons. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, eleven. I got a three. Ooh. Okay, so Clarence, you have very keen eyes, and having a good sweep of things, you cannot see a wagon that you think matches this description at the moment. But there is a lot of movement. There's a lot going on at the village. So perhaps be tempted to get in and have a bit of a closer look. Um, Ruana, uh, yeah, you you don't see anything. You get distracted um, by the fish cart as there's been so much talk about that and you start concentrating on that one. 
It does look really tasty. Maybe just a small bite of fish. Is she gonna? She swoops down. Is she gonna swoop yep. down? <laughs> I'm gonna go for a grab a I don't know, just like a little herring or something. If there's any of those like smaller fishes in, in amongst it all. I'm going to let you decide whether you want this to be. Are you doing it quickly, slyly, or fiercely? Oh, quickly! I think. I think this is like a like almost like a a predatory dive into the 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 stall and off again. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. And I, I have a, a secondary request that can Richard try and reach out at the same time and grab a small fish. <laughs> uh, yes, I will say that's going to be a sly check for you yeah. richard so i got a nine with my quick check okay yeah you get that herring oh yeah six for a sly uh you get like kind of a handful of scales oh <laughs> as as ruana swoops down you kind of like stick your hand out and just like scoop up some scales uh, uh that are very fishy I think as, yeah, Richard goes to, like, put the scales in his mouth, then his son, he goes, what? The, no, this, oh, what's wrong with, oh, this, this isn't like normal fish. What's, I, I don't want to eat this. What's this? And he's like. <laughs> now, I've been a great many forms in my life, and uh, I, I have discovered that not every form is fit for every food. Oh. So I don't know if this is your first time being a chameleon, but maybe. Yes. Maybe go for more like vegetables what? And, 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 and plant life. Uh, oh, no. Plants? Yeah. Oh. Fruit, maybe. Or bugs. Insects are a big, big game for chameleons around these parts. Mm hmm. Insects. Chester's going to say as he's like making a beeline for the fishmonger. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Ruana's going to kind of like perch down on like a roof somewhere that's over like nearby the fishmonger so that <laughs> the others can join in. Start nibbling her herring. Chester, um are you doing this fearlessly, slyly or quickly? I am doing this fearlessly and but what I'm doing is I'm making the most adorable, adorable like meowing sounds. I'm like <sighs> right against the leg of like the fishmonger and just looking up very um eagerly to try and persuade him to like give us a little fish okay I i'm gonna actually i'm gonna call this a clever check in that case mm. really loudly as well <laughs> that's a four uh, the fishmonger looks at get out of here what are you doing get off you yeah, get out of here <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so <it's... laughs> and we'll like slunk back under the wagon of the fishmonger yeah yeah the fishmonger is now on high alert having had a falcon swoop down uh <laughs> there is some weird kind of trail left in one of his fishes and now this this cat's come up and started giving him bother so he's uh he's he's started sharpening one of his uh knives <gasps> I cast Summon Hole underneath the fish cart. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah. Okay! Oh! Bringing out the so, pocket magic. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, a, it's about a foot or so across. Um, what's a foot? It's like an actual foot, isn't it? Yeah, it's 12 inches. It's a third of a metre. Okay. So what I'm going to say is that just... Uh, wait a minute. Where exactly do you want to place it? Like, on the underside of the cart. Okay. So the cart... Oh, so stuff will fall through it. Ah, on the actual wood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm with you. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> you... Uh, please mark down that you have used that pocket magic. As just as this fishmonger's sharpening his knife, and just like, oh, bloody cat. He looks at <laughs> his, uh, his cart, his everything he's got out, and just... Poof! And all the fish starts to go... Poof, 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 Oh, gross. Splattering down through the middle. I mean, he's still got the fish on the mid on the around the edges, but the middle is just <laughs> like a, a, a nice uh, circular foot's worth of fish has just splattered on down <laughs> to below the cart. I take a particular tasty porcel and I scarper out of there. Uh, give me a quick check for that, please. To avoid the knife of the fishmonger. <gasps> Eight. 
Eight. Yes, you do. The fishmonger sees you dash on in. Uh, he is very annoyed right now. Oi, come here, come here. And he's just in his anger, Yo. throws his knife at you, which narrowly misses you. I'd say you lose a quarter of a whisker. <laughs> <sighs> As um, I'm running away, I'll go, which translates to, um, I'm going to take that personally. Yes. <laughs> uh, so where does Chester run uh, with his fish? Well, I think he spots the hawk that's like plopped itself on top of like one of the one of the nearby houses and just like sort of makes a beeline for that house, hmm. puts it in a little safe hidey hole, and then just with a little <laughs> bit of pouncing back and forth goes up onto the house and goes, "Well done, that was excellent distraction, good fellow." And I gotta say, I love a bit of adventure. So yes, I will help you find. Your cart. <laughs> <laughs> how did you? How did you do that with the hole? Well, you know, we've got our tricks, haven't we? And um, I've, I've, I've learnt a few from, you know, my pet. So <laughs> that's how we learn these things, you know, as, as familiars. <laughs> Have you got a pet? <laughs> Who is your pet? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Who is your pet? Who's Who's my pet? Yes. Well, I, I am, I am companion and, and and friend of 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 Domino, the great wizard of of this of this place of this village. Ah, ah. Do, do I hear that? I, oh, am I still flying around checking for the car? Um, I could say I think you've done your swoop and mm. you've noticed everybody kind of settled thing down on this roof. So if you'd like to have joined, you can. Yeah. Ah, Ch- Chester, did I hear you say you are the familiar of the great mage Domino? Yes, he's my pet. He's um, the person who, you know, I I indulge and and I look after and and things like that. But of course, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very well respected in his in his home and 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 everyone treats me with the utmost respect. And no one like child minds me or demeans me or anything like that at all. And that's not what happens there. I oh. run the show. Oh, a great many things now make sense. For a wizard of Domino's prestige to be kept by such a grand and prestigious familiar is truly an honour to be in your presence, Chester. You must be a cat of some renown and Mm. accomplishment. I saw the little trick from above with the magic. You really are. Well, you know, Clarence, celebrity is as celebrity does. (laughs) That's all I can say. You're making me very um, feline complimented. (laughs) (laughs) I'm very feline complimented. It is well earned, I am sure. You're you're feline complimented, yeah. Yes. (laughs) So, Ruana, have you seen your cart anywhere? No, it's not round here. No. Do you think your 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 pet Domino could uh could help in any way? The shop is closed for the day, I assume. I went by earlier. Yes. Yes, his his shop is closed. He's 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 a musician as well. He loves to play the violin and fiddles and various things. I believe the event in town is a wedding. Duh. A wedding of sorts, and I ah. think he's he's busying himself with that when he's not obviously looking after me um, and, and caring for me and being my butler. Um, so, <laughs> yes, I, I, we could go and try and find him. Well, in fact, at this moment, you see a wizard in deep blue robes with the deep blue twinkly eyes, a sharp nose and overly expressive faces as he uh, chats uh, rather enthusiastically uh, with his three beautiful daughters who are all carrying boxes beside him. They have uh, dark hazel hair uh, all smiling brightly. Um, They have their hair up in rags as it seems like they're still getting ready for the day. Uh, They're carrying boxes of cakes and uh, you can see uh, this uh, wizard in the blue robes carrying uh, his instrument and uh, his music stand as they're going to set up in the centre of the green where there are some several chairs set out already. Um, Chester immediately, when he sees this, just drops onto his belly and tries to make himself as still as possible. Oh. Chester, whatever is the matter, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I just... Uh, well, I just... I just would rather like my own freedom right now. Yeah, I understand perfectly. Uh, Sometimes we need to let our pets uh, roam free 
you know, explore their own freedom. What is, you know, it's, it, it doesn't do well to be kept all of the time, I understand. No, I, I let them go out whenever they want, really, and that's absolutely fine. Mm. And, you know, that, that keeps them mm. very happy and entertained. Um, do you not worry they'll get into trouble without you around? Oh, well, you know... Well, you these... must understand, Richard. Um, Domino is a, is a wizard of great renown. I'm sure they are capable mm. of looking after themselves. Yes, of course. Yes. Goodness. Isn't that right, Chester? And then ah. he, his head will just, like, turn, like, 90 degrees. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, my, pe- my pet is, is fine. It's, it's more his, his three daughters. They are very doting on me, as you know. They are also my pets, and they're a little bit too doty, if you know what I mean. No. Oh. Ah, yes. I see. And he dresses his monocle. <laughs> Still looking at Chester. <laughs> well, I mean, they, 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 they pick me up. They try and do paintings of me when I don't want to. And, you oh. know, I run the house. I'm in charge there. And they really shouldn't be doing that. But they want to play with me and hold me and, and stroke me and, and chase after me. And it's a little bit overwhelming, if I'm honest with you. I just want my freedom sometimes. Such a burden to be such an adorable and beautiful creature to be adored by children. The Pressure. Oh, unimaginable. What a stuffy thing to endure. My friends, I have a, a, something of an idea. Whilst Chester understandably um, stays here for the sake of his own safety, shall we descend downwards to Domino mm. and speak with him and inquire further about this carriage? Also, this pet of yours, Chester, is a powerful... Um, pet with uh, magical abilities? Yes, I believe so. Mm. Transformational abilities, perchance. Yes, I ah. imagine so as well. Although he seems to be clocking off today. Right. I don't know if he's up for business of magicking or whatever, but maybe he does know where this cart is. If we can get to him, maybe we could persuade him, but I would just... I'm happy to help with this adventure indeed. That's my passion, these adventures and thrills. But if we can just avoid the daughters... I Otherwise, see. I will yes. never, ever be able to, like, disappear and do my own business for the rest of the day, evening, ah, time. I see. We must keep you free. Are they particularly keen on cats, or would an owl distract them enough? No, I think it's just this black cat in particular. For some reason, they're obsessed with me. <laughs> Such a burden. Must be terrible. And it's almost in the... You hear, you're hearing all the chatter and the hubbub. Things are really starting to take shape on the village green. The, people are running around and uh, you start to hear different voices and you do hear on the wind. Has, any, has anybody seen Iggy? Has any, have you, Jenny, have you seen Iggy? Where, where, where is he? And that starts to just float up and they start calling, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. <laughs> Um, I'll immediately go, and then immediately put my hands over my mouth. <laughs> uh, can you all roll a uh, sly check for me to see oh. if they uh, manage to avoid seeing you up on the roof? Not distinguishable at all, the owl Ooh. wearing clothes. <laughs> then we've got an owl, a falcon, a black cat, and a chameleon all sat perching on a roof with some fish. A chameleon has had a, a rare moment of uh, blending in and has managed to actually colour himself the colour of a roof tile briefly. <laughs> Because I rolled an unnatural 10. Ooh. Hell yeah. Nice. Very I f- nice. Same. I think Clarence was fixing his mortar board because uh, he got a four. He's distracted, preoccupied with his appearance. Okay. I got a 10 as well. I feel like, yeah, Ruana is <laughs> laid down, almost blending her like mottled brown into the roof around Richard. I got an eight, so I presume he just instinctively just like pounced backwards and is sort of half hanging off the back of the other side of the house. <laughs> Marvellous. That sounds good. So, yeah, so the, the, the girls are searching around. They do notice a big ruffle of uh, feathers on the roof, but that's the thing that it just kind of distracts them because it's an owl with a, a mortarboard and a monocle. So they're more transfixed on that. And one of them does, uh, the kind of slightly shorter one does look and go, oh, look how cute that is owl is oh my goodness have you seen it oh i just want to give it a little squish and a little cuddle and an, oh oh it's so cute oh oh but we really must find iggy 
And so off the girls go uh, in search of Iggy, um, but with a new target uh, for cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> Clarence the Owl. Grace here, keeping you updated with all things No Small Roles related. If this critter-themed two-parter is your first experience of No Small Roles, welcome and thank you for joining us. This was my very first time in the GM seat and I absolutely loved running a familiar problem. Now, if you're curious to hear the incredible DM skills of the wonderful David Knight in our binge-worthy main campaign, we suggest listening up to the end of episode 8 at least and seeing how you feel about the show from there. You'll see we have a handy recap for episodes 1 to 5 if you want a head start. Of course, if you're a regular listener, you'll be thrilled to know that episode 79 will be making its way to your ear holes at the start of November. If you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share with us as you listen to this wholesome adventure, you can find us on X and Instagram at No Small Roles. Simply search No Small Roles on Facebook and our Discord link can be found in the show notes. If you're enjoying the show so far, it would mean the world to me and the team if you take a moment to rate us five stars on Spotify and write us a little review on iTunes, Podchaser or Podcast Addict. And of course, nothing quite beats word of mouth. So please spread the word to your friends, family and strangers on the internet. That's all from me for now. Let's get you back to the story. I believe the coast may be clear, Master Iggy. It's Chester and (laughs) Eagleton. And it's a proud name of great heritage. I'm understanding you perfectly clear, my friend. Uh, so, right, Clarence, they kind of took a small liking to you just now as well. How would you feel about being a big old distraction for us? I would be absolutely delighted. Oh, I must sympathize with Master Eagleton's uh, situation. My own owner of a similar age to the young girls down there seems to not have the same regard for my own personage. So I would love the chance to be adored by a much more admiring crowd. What is it you desire? Well, I think if you can keep the girls away, then... uh... Then Richard and uh, Chester and I can can make our way down to to Domino and 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 see if he can help us in any way. Sounds like an idea. I should be off at once. Woo! And he <laughs> and he like dives down, like tucks his wings and like whoosh, like a sparrow almost. A sparrow dives and spreads his wings and that flutters. Is his one cape. majestic owl. <laughs> <laughs> You find the three sisters. They are looking under carts. They've noticed what's gone on with the fish cart. And uh, one of them has purchased a fish for um, for Iggy as a treat for him later. <laughs> and they are looking around, seeing what they can find. Uh, there's also a ribbon stall that's nearby with various different bits of haberdashery and bells. Um, so that's whereabouts you find them, Clarence, uh, what are you doing to try and uh, encourage them to come even further towards you? Oh, um, so Clarence will um, take his mortarboard off mm-hmm. <laughs> with his wings. Yes, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and he'll, he'll, he'll toss it up into the air and he's going to fly up and try to catch it with his head. And like, kind of like, do a loop de loop, and land back where he started. <laughs> okay, please give me a. I'm going to call that. What could be work well as a kind of a performance check? Let's call that a sly check. Damn it! Because <laughs> it's kind of a trick. It's kind of natural ten. Hey. Very nice. Ooh. So you Ooh. perform, as you said, with a plum, and the girls, as they 
start to ca- you catch their eye, start cheering and clapping and going, "Oh my goodness, Fiona, look how cute he is! Oh, do you think Daddy would let us have him as well? Oh, I think that him and Iggy would get on so well. The owl and the pussycat. Oh my god, <laughs> so cute! <laughs> oh yes, Anna, Anna, that would be lovely. They all sound exactly the same for some reason. Yes, Anna, that would be so good. Oh, oh, look, look, let's buy him a little ribbon. And so, uh, uh, Jenny goes and. And buys a, a ribbon um, to match the mortarboard, and and she then tries to coax you. They break off a little bit of the fish that they bought for Iggy to kind of try and coax you to come a bit closer. I play coy, and instead of like flapping over to them, showing my intelligence, I'm just going to hop, kind of like a little bit by bit, like kind of tentatively turning my head a little bit, regarding them, and then just just little by little flap flap over to them the little hops melt the sisters <laughs> they are literal messes they're like oh I just I want to cry it's so adorable <laughs> I just oh I want to I just I need I need come here come here and then as the closer you get they um, tie this little ribbon round his neck very gently mm-hmm. um, if you're allowing them to yeah. um, and are giving him a nice bow and what colour is your mortarboard? Oh it's um, black and it's black and gold Okay, so this is a golden bow yeah. that they have just <laughs> tied around to match with your beautiful mortarboard, and they are, yeah, they are just they're, they're, they're starting to like get a bit closer, give you little scritches, yeah. and um, yeah, just giving you so much attention and feeding you little bits of this fish. It doesn't seem like there's probably going to be any left for Iggy. Oh, because <laughs> they're so happy to feed it to you right now and give you all the love. Um, although occasionally they look up to see if it, but they're kind of they are so engrossed in you oh. so whilst this uh, distraction is taking place the other three what is the plan okay Iggy uh, uh, sorry Chester uh, <laughs> would you like to uh, introduce us to your it feels weird that you call him a pet I'm just gonna say that now it just feels a bit weird but uh, uh, to Domino your 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 companion Mm, fair enough. Um, okay, as long as he's oh, all right with me not being in the house. Um, <laughs> yes, that that I guess should be fine. Um, and 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 Richard, if if yes, you 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 seem like you've got a quarry about something about. Is it changing? Are you yeah. happy being a chameleon? Is that what I am? Oh, no, 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 no! I shouldn't be this at all. No, absolutely not. I need to. I need to change back. Uh, otherwise, how on earth am I going to get? How on earth am I going to get back? Back, back, back to what exactly? The the, the big the the big town, the big place. Um, but but, oh, but what were you? Uh, I was a majestic falcon. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes. It was more than nice. It was everything. It oh. was flight. Power, death to small creatures. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, gosh. it does feel good to to, to be in this form. I, I I would agree with you there. Yeah, my gosh, this this tale sounds so fascinating. It's ah, oh, it sounds like it it would be upsetting to unresolve this. Ah, oh, let us let's <laughs> let's go forward and maybe 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 my friend Domino can can help you. Ah, yes. Well, we either need to find this pet of yours and. Uh, Get him to turn me back, or or find the 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 magic stick that did this. Ah, uh, very well. Might might be a might be a might be a wand, perhaps. Oh, is the uh, thing. Yes, wand, 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 wand. Yes, the 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 the, the feather hat person had a had a magic stick. Uh, they waved it, and look, look what happened. Oh no. I'm just going to lean over to Rowan and just go, I don't think he's been the familiar for very long. I am getting that impression, yeah. Yeah, he's he's a little bit slow on the uptake. But anyway, um, anyway, and I will like lead the pack and sleuth through the crowd. Just to check, is Domino near the fishmonger? 
yes, the fishmonger is right in the path on your way to Domino. Oh, no. As you see Domino <laughs> tuning up his violin in the distance as other mu- musicians start to join him, your path ahead of you is uh, the cake cart, the fish cart, and the um, fruit cart. Uh, all getting ready. There is also still the hustling and bustling. So um, we are first of all to get past the cake cart um, where we have a lot going on. Uh, There's a lot of a crowd there. So we're going to try and avoid getting trampled on. So can you all please roll a sly check for me to not get trampled? I'm still with the girls, aren't I? Yes. Cool. I'll say that the rich, yeah, Richard is is going alone for a little bit and is testing out his chameleon feet to see. <laughs> um, that's a ten from me. <gasps> as oh. a cat, as a cat, I get a plus two for sly. Very nice. That was oh. a, a ten for me as well. I'm wondering oh. how much I'm flying low and more flying above. The yeah. Cakes. I wonder if there's some concern for your new chameleon friend who's still finding his feet. So I can imagine you don't want to go too far away from him. Yeah, exactly. Flying slowly, but but keeping an eye. You're right to be concerned because Richard rolled a one. No! (laughs) No! No! Okay. Return of two. <laughs> Please take a stress point. I'm taking a stress point. My stress is one. Your stress is <gasps> one. So if you roll, let me just clarify the rules on stress. So um, when you next roll a die to resolve an action, uh, and each time, if you roll equal to or under your stress, you will go wild. So at the moment, uh, you need to roll a roll one, a one. For, to, to break. So... Okay. Start keeping an eye on that. Keep an eye. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, the the feet are everywhere. They're trampling around. Uh, you, uh, somebody steps on your tail. Oh, oh, mm. ah, why it's, is this thing here? Why is this? Oh, goodness! Oh, what on earth is the point of that? Ow! Oof. Yeah, yeah, and and so Ruana uh, t- has been quite close to you, keeping trying to keep things uh, less stressful for you. So, kind of, uh, what would you do, maybe, Ruana, to try and kind of help save a little bit um it's so that i'm not swooping down between legs i'm gonna kind of like Ca-ca! out to it uh, to chester <laughs> uh to see if chester can like dash through the crowd to get over to to richard um i'll hear that ah, and ah. double back and go um oh, my, my, my good fellow okay just rather than keeping it very static try like a little left right motion it's all about balance you see <laughs> oh, i don't know how do any of you cope down here on the Floor. Oh. Okay, but what you're doing right now just looks like you've pooed yourself. So just try, just try, loosey goosey, loosey goosey. Go with the flow. You know? Oh my gosh! It's... Richard will try and loosey goosey like a chameleon attempting to be a cat through the crowd. <laughs> Humans, elves, and dwarves, they love a good flowing a leg, a flowing tail. Just, just go with it. They love it. <laughs> Richard is very uptight and is attempting to sort of slink. Oh no, no. <laughs> Through, through past feet. Uh, as the attempting to slink um, gets you out of the overly crowded cake area, you know, cake is very popular, uh, you then have the next challenge of the fish cart. Now, the fishmonger is red. He is very, very angry. Oh, no. He has lost a lot of good fish. Uh, he is... That he has sharpened several knives and he is keeping an eye out <laughs> oh my gosh. for a very uh, now his arch nemesis as a cat um, and he's he's grumbling never like cats anyway that's why I like fish I mean I don't know uh, <laughs> ah the backstory for the uh, fish yeah. manga <laughs> the inverse of cats oh uh, uh, yes deep <laughs> <fish lore. laughs> the opposite to cats, cat is fish therefore I will become <laughs> therefore I'll be a fish uh, yes, because, because he didn't want the cats to have the fish so he's taken it for other people there you go there so you go oh, oh he's yeah. claiming it sense. back for the people <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. A real Robin Hood story there. (laughs) (laughs) Now, obviously, the the, the only way is past the uh, fishmonger cart um, as there are 
lots that, that was starting to crowd up a little bit more things are getting more frantic as it's coming to crunch time for the ceremony now um, I'm going to ask you all to roll a quick check for this one oh, quick check right Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> the slinking is working 11 way very nice now, I don't know whether or not it's just that I have chosen the correct dice tonight, but I also got 11. I've consistently you are rolled... rolling really well. Consistently wow. rolled a nine on this same <laughs> die. You're not rolling a d20, are you? No, I uh, yeah. That's what happens when you play a reincarnated mm. elf. Well, I exactly, suppose. yeah. I've got the years yeah. of experience, but yeah, I've got a plus two to quick, so that was uh, an 11 altogether. Very good. I got a seven. Oh, okay. Uh, What's that mean, Grace? <laughs> I thought that was good. It's it's okay. It's it's okay, but um, uh, he does catch you. Uh, uh, as, uh, no, no, as in in sight. Uh, he sees you. He sees you running towards the um, apple cart, uh, the fruit and veggies cart, and so he throws his knife in that direction, which then uh, creates an avalanche of apples so can i please get you all uh, you're all running in that direction the apples are tumbling down please roll a uh, quick check for me to avoid the apple avalanche <laughs> oh okay oh that was only a seven for me as i've swooped down past the uh past the front of the fish market directly into the path of the apples uh an eight for richard that's a two for chester eagleton Oh, Chester. Chester. Chester Eggleton takes a stress point. No. Oh, no. Oh. You guys, you have one hit point. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Richard will, Richard will also, if there's a small bit of fruit from the apple cart, will also just, if there's a little bit that he could just nibble on while he's going past, he's been told <laughs> that maybe fruit is a thing that he should eat now. <laughs> Uh, is uh, yeah, is an s- apple bigger than a chameleon at this oh, point? Oh, just like a little nibble. Of <laughs> it is, but with the avalanche, some of the apples have smashed, and I've so there look. are some like kind of little apple fragments. So you I'll can try a little, like apple fragment. Yeah. Hoot, hoot! Five second rule. Hoot. <laughs> <laughs> hoot, hoot! And uh, talking of Clarence, um, the girls have. Uh, begrudgingly left you um, as they have to go and get themselves uh, ready for the wedding Um, they need to go take all the last rags out of their hair and everything people uh, things are starting to get a bit more the the final like finishing touches are starting to happen things are going in the right positions tidying up Uh, everyone's starting to go and actually get dressed now Um, and so as your three companions are starting to approach Wizard Domino, you are free to come and join them, Clarence. Yeah, I'll look mournfully um, at the girls leaving. Um, grateful to have had a bit of positive attention today. And I'll turn my head back the other way and flap up over <laughs> over the av- uh, avalanche of apples towards the party. So you approach um, a kind of little gazebo uh, covering the musicians um you've got uh you've got the fiddler which is our wizard domino you can also see somebody uh setting up an accordion next to him there uh there's some percussion being set up as well and it looks like somebody's also turning up with a very large brass instrument some uh, sort of tuba or something Mm. um but everyone's kind of busying themselves with uh getting set up for the wedding uh are you just gonna go straight up to wizard domino uh clarence will flap down um towards um domino what? <laughs> hooting <laughs> ah domino good day to you <laughs> it is i clarence i am the familiar of celia uh, good day to find you here outside the shop how do, how are you today now, I'm going to say 
that Ooh. uh Can we the talk? people <laughs> yeah i'm gonna <laughs> say <laughs> all he hears is hoot 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 uh because i'm gonna say that the, it's only you can only hear your familiar oh um, no <laughs> <laughs> but um, that happens anyway. Do it. Do it, it ha- absolutely. I, 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 I think with him, he totally assumes everybody can hear him because he's so, you know, he's yeah. got the gravitas. Um, but it, but Domino is is quite taken with you, especially in this fetching new golden bow that you wear. Um, and he does recognise you uh, from being the companion of the young girl that came to his shop earlier on today, mm. who he had to uh, turn away. Uh, so, oh. Oh, hello there, aren't you charming? Aren't you handsome? Yes. And he gives you a little scritch on the belly. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh where's, 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 your, where's your master gone, eh? Where's she gone? She went off in quite a tantrum, didn't she? <laughs> Patience is a virtue, yes. He flaps away from him and drops to the ground. Oh, okay, all right. And as he kind of follows you around to uh, see you flop to the ground, uh, he does, in fact, see the three approaching from the fallen apple cart. Iggy! Thank you, more. Who's a good little... Uh, 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 Familiar. I was, try- I was trying to say, I don't know what I was trying to say. I think I was going to say chameleon. <laughs> Who's my good little yeah, yeah. familiar? Come here. And, and he scoops you up, Iggy. And he's he's giving you so much attention. He's pulling all those faces <laughs> that you're just like, oh my goodness. He's pulling that face now and this face. Oh, goodness. Um, what, do, what do you do? I am a being of immense power and supremacy, but I cannot help but purr. Oh, just just a little bit more there. Oh, oh, just a little bit behind the ear. No, 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 Dominic, Dominic. Listen, listen, good fellow. I need your help. A friend of mine, a good friend who I've just met met only half an hour ago, um, has has been looking for somebody in the town. It's a new person. He's stolen something from him. They have a cart and I give him the description. Is there any way you could help us, old boy? Oh, well. I, I've been quite busy looking, getting ready for the wedding. There's, there's not much time. Uh, and one of the brides is already meant to be here. Uh, uh, Sh- Shania, she, she's, she's not here. Uh, she's meant to be coming and telling, me, giving me the sheet music. So, I, if you could go find her for me, then, um, well, uh, then I can, I can see if I can keep an eye out for this cart for you. How about that? I kind of hop up uh, to, I don't know, somewhere on a stand nearby so that I'm slightly more eye level with Domino. And I kind of bow and like start squawking at him, not knowing that he can't understand me. (laughs) Oh my, not all bird song is enjoyable, (laughs) is it? (laughs) 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 That's it. Is is this your friend? You get it. Calm down. Chester, Chester, can you just ask, uh, or, or, or it's more like a warning. I just, I just want to let him know that, that uh, the person that drives the cart is, is not a good person. That that if they're coming here, or they're in town. They're probably going to start messing with other people. And if there, there there is some kind of celebration going on today, then it's it's really imperative that he knows that it's it's not good. Okay, that he needs that we need to find this guy before anything bad happens. Right. I'll relay that as as best I can. Um, uh, Domino, my for end. Uh, I <laughs> think that perhaps that we need to think about this as a really serious situation right now. My friend is telling me the person he's looking for is really, really bad, really bad, and might be a problem for today's festivities. So I'm, you know, I mean, pardon me for thinking that interrupting (laughs) your festivities, but I really feel like this is a priority over the sheet music. Oh, yes, he sounds like a very bad person, no, doesn't he? No, no, we're not playing so that game anymore. Bad, no. Really bad. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Domino, Look, I'm being serious here. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay, well, yes, I will go and see what's going on. But could you, could you just do me this favour? Go on, go, go on. I'll, 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 uh, I'll make sure I distract the girls for you. You know, you go, you go see about the sheet music. I, I will go round and I will see what I can find. I'll ask some questions. Okay. I relay that to the team. <laughs> and he, he needs to transfer me back as well. Have you told him that? 
Oh, yeah, and if you could transform uh, Richard back, that would be great. Okay. Little lizard noises. Twit, twit, twoo. <laughs> <laughs> All the, oh god, there's a noisy bunch of animals. I can see why we usually have one uh, familiar at a time. <laughs> yes, just to let you know, uh, uh, this little fellow here was a falcon and now um, is a chameleon. Um, he would like to be turned back, but I think for the sake of this, he needs a bit of character development. So maybe just hold <laughs> off on for a bit. <laughs> he needs to discover something about himself. <laughs> I, I, you know, I totally agree with that, Riggy Biggy Wiggy. I do. And, I, I, you know, I'm trying to have a magic-free day today. You know, it's a special day. So, uh... Yeah, you, 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 you go find the thing, and we'll let this thing have its character development. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> sounds good. And I, I turn to Richard and go, "He's working on it. Don't worry." Good, right? Good. <laughs> as quick as he can. Uh, yeah, and you see, you see, Wizard Domino kind of start to put down his violin, kind of quickly talk to uh, one or two people, bet- set, giving them the idea that he's going off to say so, um, if they see this person that you've described to him, um, and he is going, he is going to go and have a look. Now, uh, you know Shania; she is the next door neighbour of your family, and. Um, you are able to lead your group to Shania's home quite easily and quickly. Things have got started to get quite quiet. You can kind of figure that most people have now got everything set up and they are going to get into their best dress. So this is kind of the quiet before the, the storm of the, of the wedding, which is fast approaching. Um, now, as you all start to approach the door of Shania, you can hear some crying. Just a little... <laughs> Where's it gone? Where where could it be? I I don't know where it is. Um, the door, the front door is open. Uh, what would you like to do? Go inside, have a look. Uh, Chester, are are you more f- familiar with uh with the, uh-huh. the the people that live here? Uh, have I have I like met them in the street before? The people who live here. And meow at them and ask for cuddles. For sure. And I think there's a lot of people who also think you're their cat because you like to go and get as much tuna as you can. I mean, sixed in a Sid. Yeah. (laughs) Obviously, Shania is a next door neighbor. She knows that you're not her cat, but she kind of feels like you're almost her cat. Like, you know, she's really close to you. Okay, Chester, I think you're up. Uh, you got to go in there. You got to comfort this this poor thing. Uh, um, the rest of us try to find this sheep music. Is yeah. that what we were after? Oh yeah, sheep music. And, yes, and we need to find what she's lost. She might have lost something very important to her, like a spoon. Maybe she lost the sheep music. Yeah, Chester, do your best cat thing. Yes, please look after your pets. They all need a bit of love and attention. Don't worry. Never ever. Have I ever been able to not charm the socks off these people? And I will go inside and meow my butt off. (laughs) (laughs) I want cuddles. So uh, you don't have to go that far into the house to find Shania in a a kind of a, a front room that has been turned upside down. She is a uh, shorter human with mahogany skin, uh, has the most perfect afro you could imagine. She has, she is, uh, she's got some beautiful bridal jewelry already in place. She's wearing Mm. a kind of orangey gold dress um, with kind of pink and red detailing, kind of suiting the theme of all the beautiful bunting you've seen outside. She looks so stunning, but her face is tear-streaked. She is quite clearly distraught. And beside her is her tall, um, what you can assume is a wife-to-be, a uh, tall wife, a uh, half-orc with slate grey skin, poker straight, opal hair wearing kind of the kind of the opposite of the color scheme so where um shania's dress is is more strong in the oranges uh then we have uh lyra's dress is more strong in the pinks um and you can see her there comforting 
uh, Shania as she is is weeping and 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 getting up and searching again and, and stressed and she, where is it where it was my grandmother's it, it's so very important it, I need to wear it today the today is ruined if I if I don't have it and it, Lyra are you sure you didn't mislay it and Lyra's shaking her head and just going no I, I honestly I, I don't know where it could have gone I, I mean I, I it was down here on the table I I, I, I went out to have a, a short look whilst there was um well, there was this, this traveling salesman going past and I was like, well, I'll go and have a check and see what's going on there. But I do, I would... And then when I, when I came back in, it it wasn't there. But, but nobody came into the house. I didn't see anybody. Um, and, and so you're, you're witness to this, uh, Iggy. Uh, I'm sorry, apologies, Chester. Thank you. Um, and uh, <laughs> you, you kind of see, see um, Lyra comforting Shania and they just look distraught mm. uh, you do see the sheet music on the side okay I'll just feel like Wheel! but also saying guys I think I, we over <laughs> over read the situation here um, <laughs> Richard will start making his way in I'm just gonna Wheel! and then like, like I'll be like I'm gonna make a distraction just you guys come in and take the sheet music please Wheel! and I'll like go into the corner like hop up and like um, start purring against some like curtains or something and try and make myself as adorable as possible. Chris, can you give me a clever check, please? Mm. See if you can kind of distract them enough. Uh, yep, yeah, that's going to be an eight. Okay, yeah, they they know you. They like you. Shania is pretty distraught, but uh, Lyra, on seeing you, is just like, oh, okay, well, you know... Th- th- this might cheer up, so she kind of scoops you up and goes, "Look, look, it's Iggy. Try, try, try to calm down. Breathe, breathe. Stroke Iggy. It's okay. It's okay." So, whilst they're distracted, I would like to get a sly check from those of you that are trying to get the sheet music. Great. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Before I do a sly check for the sheet music, <laughs> I, I have we heard the conversation? We've heard like the I'd say, yeah, something it's it's like, it's a mm, yeah, it's a sunny okay. day. The windows are open. They've been searching everywhere, so you could you overheard all of that conversation. So before going for the sheet music, can Richard have turned to Ruana and Clarence and just had a little brief interlude? Mm, absolutely, please do. Right, mm. okay. I've seen this sort of behaviour before. This happens when they've lost a spoon. So. We need to find her spoon, okay. and then she will be happy, okay? Um, it's very important. Richard, okay. I believe your Orin Quill is showing... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, a spoon? Why, why the, the biggest spoon? get very upset when they think they're about to have a spoon, and then they don't get it. I don't so- understand how a spoon is relevant to the sheet music I think I, I understand very much. I, uh, Richard, I just don't think that that is actually what's happening here. No, uh, but she's very upset. Yes, so she she's is, and I, I, I understand. And it, like my 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 companions get very upset when they they ah. can't even uh, attempt the spoon yes. uh, to get a spoon. <laughs> That's when they they're the most uh, upset. But so I, if we I, can I find her spoon, no, I I think she's lost something else. I think something has been taken from her by by the, the traveling by the, salesman. The traveling salesman. Okay, he's taken the spoon. He's Sorry. taken her They've precious taken item. Yes, you can call it a spoon if you yes. like. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. that's what we'll go with. Yeah. Well, sure. That, sure. Uh, yeah. Yes. Spoon. Understood. Traveling yes. salesman's taken the spoon. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We can fix this. it. It doesn't look like a spoon, though. It, I think it might be some kind of jewel or or uh, something wearable. Something. Per- we see. must decide what we're doing quickly because we are right. searching oh, yes. for uh, one thing uh, or another, and we don't have a lot of time. For I think okay. let's grab the sheet music now, the and then um, uh, maybe let Domino know that uh, that uh, this situation. Yes, agreed, understood, and that we can fix it. Okay, uh, all at once, or let's go, let's move. Let's okay, try. yeah, sure, all at once, through the window. Are you doing this quick or are you doing this slyly? Quick. <laughs> I think quick. Quick, okay, all right. Yeah, uh, roll me some quick checks, please. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> good. I, ro- I rolled a one. Do I add my plus two or have I Come rolled on. my... How does this work? <laughs> I'm going to say because it's what you've 
Let me double check the rules. Yeah. Please let no be no critical failures on a D10 dice. <laughs> that's, that's a bit too frequent. It's, well, it's 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 whether the stress happens. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh no. But a plus surely would add on to his dice roll. Yeah. Well, I feel like I think it's it's what you've rolled. Yeah. And it's equal to so yep. I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, uh, Richard breaks. Yep. Oh, oh uh, no! Defeated something! Oh my god! No, no. Uh, Richard's just gonna go over on the on his back. He's gonna sort of squirm with his little feet up in the air, and he's he's suddenly freaked out by being in the house with near the the. I guess there are big feet on these two. Uh, women in here and he's... yeah I, I, I'd say that you start to squeak and it's certainly uh, even though Chester has been doing a very good job whilst uh, you were having your conversation to uh, distract them they are starting to get a bit suspicious of what commotion might be going on in the corridor oh no <laughs> I, I hear that commotion and start rolling on my back, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I'm so adorable. I'm so cuddly. Roll, roll me a clever check. <laughs> yeah. Um, I rolled a, a five for my quick check to fly in yeah. and try and grab the sheet music. I got a four. So not. Oh. <laughs> I okay. Like two birds suddenly bumping into each other. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, you both, you both go to like take off and you just both skew it that you bump into each other <laughs> and basically like just fall to the top, which is what is increasing um, our little chameleon's stress as these two big birds like <laughs> clomp down next to him. Predators! Uh, you see how much distress he is in. Are you going to try and calm him down? Uh, I, I, I think the wisest choice is to divide and conquer. One person stays, the other goes and gets the Stop. music. Stop leaving me! Okay, Clarence, Cla- oh, Cla- 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 you oh, go. No. I'm just going to talk to Richard real quick, okay? Oh. Okay, I'm off. Okay. <laughs> Chris, did you give me the result of that clever check? Sorry. No, I rolled an eight plus a one, so that's a nine. Okay, yeah, you've kept them distracted. Just okay, Richard. Okay, hello, Richard. Uh, Hi. Uh, oh, uh, it's a hawk. Hey, listen. It's a big hawk. It's a big hawk. That's okay. Remember, uh, uh, remember that uh, you are also a big bird. Okay, not right now, but you I'm are a big bird. A big bird. Okay, bird. you're a big bird. Uh, Who's a big bird? Uh, I'm a big bird. I'm a big bird. You're the big bird. I'm you're the big biggest bird. bird. I'm a big yeah, bird. Rem- I'm a brave remember, falcon. Remember, I'm a brave yeah, falcon. Exactly. Uh, you are a hunter. You I'm are a, hunter. a predator. Uh, 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 I can find the mouse. Uh, uh, yeah, you I can get, get the duck. Uh, uh, you can get the duck. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, all my big ones—they're all by themselves. I'm not there to look after them. I'm not there to look after they're them. Okay. They're in a big city they're by okay. themselves. They're in a big city by themselves. They're in a big city. Yeah, but where are you? Where are you? Feet on the floor. Feet on the floor. Okay. Feet on the floor. Okay. That's it. That's it. I have powerful wings. Yes, I have the most I'm... incredible eyes. You, you do. Yeah, you I'm do. Unmatched. What? What color Browns, were your eyes? Uh, brown. Uh, Brown eyes. Oh, yes. nice. Uh, um, um, why don't you? Why don't you try turning brown like your eyes? Uh, uh, brown. Concentrate brown, on brown. on your on your on. Yep, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. I mean, that's kind of blue, but okay, that's nice. <laughs> mean, okay, we're, we're going red. That's closer. That's closer. Okay, okay, we're getting there. Meanwhile, uh, Daryl, can you roll me a second quick check? Uh, you kind of as soon as Ruan has gone to calming uh, Richard you've gone to swoop in and what did you get? A three. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a one the, plus two. It's, it's a really uh, the problem that happened to you before is kind of you thought it was because you bumped into Ruana, but actually it's, you just can't get the big enough wingspan here <laughs> in the corridor this is not it's not made for owls really um, and I'm going to say that the the commotion of the flapping is what starts to bring the two uh, the, the two uh, women out in kind of just a distracted like what's going on I ha, how are you feeling uh, Richard if you're calming I think yeah we're through the assistance of Ruana and I think Richard has has eventually found a brown uh, in his in his coloration and and that has started to calm him down a little bit yeah 
Okay, so as yeah, as the women kind of curiously come through round, they see uh, two birds of prey, one with like just its wings, the, the owl with them far, like kind of just not being able to fully expand their wings. Um, there's there's kind of what looks like a kind of lump, but it's the same colour as the floor, which is also brown, so it's quite like as the b- floor boarding, so and okay. slightly vibrating. And <laughs> slightly <laughs> vibrating. And, and they see this b- other bird, and so they, they start to shoo you out of the front door. Like, come on, th- th- get out of here. Look, you d- what what are you doing? Like the bi- the big, tall, orcish lady with the opal hair. Oh, she oh. Is, is 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 hurrying you out of there. Just like, get, get get out Richard of here. Get out of here. <laughs> to, to, cause, to cause another distraction, Iggy jumps onto the onto the opal hair woman and starts like getting tangled up in the hair. Iggy, <laughs> <laughs> Iggy, what are you doing? Iggy, stop. I'm going to try and scoop uh, Richard up in my talons again, like fly straight out the door um, and try to do like a big swoop of the house to make him feel like he's flying. Uh, uh, I'm in the air. I am a predator. I'm a killing machine. I I am king of the sky. I am the greatest evolutionary creation. Uh, In in this this, this chaotic moment as... Uh, Lyra is trying to uh, get the the cat out of her hair as uh, we've got the the chameleon flying around on the falcon and and, and everyone just trying to <laughs> trying to get out. Um, there is a, 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 a small girl knocks on the door. Um, she is uh, looks about ten years old, a half hobgoblin orc <laughs> um, with dusty complexion. Scraggly black hair, black witchy robes that are, that are clearly too big for her. Um, and obviously, Clarence instantly recognizes her and she scowls at you. Um, mm. She gives her the biggest scowl, humps, and says, I'm trying to decide what voice to do for her. Myra. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no. Oh, man. Um, actually. Actually. <laughs> Uh, hello. Um, I've I've been I've been sent by Wizard Domino. Uh, to get get the sheet music. I am assisting him today. Uh, even though he's not going to teach me magic today. Uh, which I think is really unfair. Actually. Um, may I have the sheet music? Thank you. Why are you cr- crying? Uh, to to to, to um uh Shania who. It's just bewildered right now at all the confusion that's been happening. <laughs> and uh, sorry, Daryl, are you still in the house or did you fly just out on to just in front of the house? Um, I don't think I left the house. No. So she's she kind of. Oh, shoot. Everyone like oh, right. she was shooing you all out of the house. Yeah. Whether you decided to stay or not, I'm, I'm I think I slightly missed that. OK. Um. Oh, you could you'll still you still be in the vicinity near the front door and yeah. stuff or it's whether you want yeah, to be yeah, in yeah, between yeah, yeah 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 so let's say yeah so when when she shooed you, you you so you're kind of on the there's like a railing outside mm-hmm. the house and that's okay. that's where um uh your uh master saw you uh well your mm-hmm. master's daughter saw you mm-hmm. and gave you the humph um <laughs> and uh <laughs> we then uh Shania just almost slightly becoming like for a moment she's forgetting how upset she is as she kind of hands over the sheet music <laughs> and and kind of then goes back to her wife to be trying to help her detangle the cat from her hair <laughs> um <laughs> so uh yes uh you you see um this uh half hobgoblin orc um say uh thank you very much and then look at you again. I look right back at uh, her um, and kind of, again, cluck, uh, turn my head 90 degrees as as if a human would raise their eyebrows. I kind of cock my head. <laughs> as uh, as these two are having a little stereo match, um, can I swoop down towards the sheet music and use my pocket magic butterfingers <gasps> to make her drop it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, you can. <laughs> can I catch it? So as she, well, as I'm, I'm gonna try and swoop so that like Richard can get it, like because Richard's in my talons at the moment. Richard is so hoping gonna that Richard to, can like yeah. grab it as I like as it falls from her hand. I think Richard is gonna hang on with his front legs and use his back legs like he used to use his talons. 
<laughs> I'm an eagle. I'm a falcon. I'm a falcon. <laughs> I am king of the sky. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm going to say, um, because you've used that spell, that you are successful in diving down hey. uh, to, uh, you're, you're trying to pick up the sheet music. The sheet music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with, yeah, with Richard's chameleon back feet. <laughs> and this is where you, you you see this this young girl looking, Oi, come back here. Uh, that's my job. That's my job. And she's going to... She, 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 she uh, turns as she hears the Selica um, from you, Clarence, and go, You're a mouldy old bird. Oh, we're <laughs> back here. I left you behind because I thought you had learnt your lesson. I see still that you need calling off. So be it then. You are still in need of a lesson. And before you even finish, she starts running off. Um, she's like, not listening. La, 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 not listening. <laughs> I flap um, my running. wings and I cast mist. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, just because just because <laughs> no, uh, she, she, hear, <laughs> she lady, hears she hears the, the flap of wings behind her and kind of turns back for a moment and just sees this mist um, around the owl and just like gross and carries on running <laughs> after the falcon oh she can still uh, see it through the mist they're running, running after us Oh, you were casting the mist on... Yeah, sorry. I should have made that clear. Casting the mist around her so she can't see uh, Richard and Rana. Ah. Retcon. 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 retcon, retcon. Pocket magic retcon. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Okay, yeah. So she, she as you cast mist, uh, she is just suddenly obscured uh, and not able to see where Rana and Richard are. Um, and she goes... Oh, Clarence, why do you have to do this? Because you need to respect your elders. I am a seasoned adventuring familiar, and you are the daughter of a great wizard oh. placed under my care. You should have listened to me this afternoon. Seasoned is but just instead, another word for old. You run your old, mouth, old. show no respect. <laughs> of course, this is where you are. On, you have learnt no magic for you like patience. No. Oh, she just starts walking. She's not quite sure what direction, <laughs> but she is just like full on like uh, Kevin and Perry, uh, like uh, sort of uh, grown um, into the mist. Go ahead and strut. It- you still will fail to learn in your miserable mood. <laughs> if this is where the monarchy is heading, count me out. Out of service, out of Africa. I wouldn't hang about. Uh, and I would say by this time, uh, the, the brides have managed to detangle Iggy from their hair um, and they kind of shoo Iggy out of the door as well, closing the door um, and uh, trying to get themselves sorted. Rowana and Richard, are you heading towards the music? Yeah, Richard or? is just, as we fly away, just going, I'm king of the sky. I'm king of... Uh, we're king of the sky. Character development. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. You, you can be king of the sky. It's, you, you, do, you do you, sweetie. We're both king of the sky. <laughs> uh, okay, we're both king of the sky. Sure. Okay. And... Uh, as 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 the mist starts to clear, uh, you can see that guests are starting to arrive. Rowana and Richard deliver the music, and as uh, Clarence and um, Iggy start to catch up, all of you start to hear a sort of buzzing noise, like wings that are fluttering so fast, almost like hummingbird wings. And Rowana, this sounds very familiar to you. Yeah, her eyes suddenly, like, like proper predator hawk eyes, start narrow, like narrow down and scan the, the horizon, scan the the crowd, looking for the source of this noise. So as you're darting your eyes around, I think because you are so focused on this creature, this has been mm. your quarry for the last uh, now um, twenty. 20- six 27 hours uh you, as soon as you hear it you are able to zone in and you see 
This little hamster-like vulpatinger with its little antlers and little wings on the far corner of the village green, uh, heading off in a direction. What do you do? I just, in a, the most serious tone that I can, say, Turnip! <laughs> and I shoot across this, like, like I launch, I don't know if I'm even still, I'm not even aware if I'm still holding Richard, but I, like, which is hanging blast on. my wings <laughs> and like rocket my way across toward where he's going and that is where we're going to wrap up the episode oh! yeah! Yeah! amazing that was great oh my god so, <laughs> so good thanks for being so nice well to me done. everyone that was good well fun done. Done. Great. One. Amazing, great. let's see what happens in the exciting conclusion yeah. oh my gosh you have been listening to A Familiar Problem, Rowana and Company, with Grace Kelly Miller as your Game Master, David Knight as Rowana, Daryl Bailey as Clarence, Ben Galpin as Richard, and Chris Watts as Chester Iggleton. Original music by David Knight, and expertly edited by Pippa Beckford. Make sure you're subscribed, and if you enjoy the show, we'd love it if you'd rate and review No Small Roles. Thank you for listening. Anon for now. Anon!